You know, I've always wondered why was there never an FTL faster than light? A second game or substantive updates, DLCs, free updates, anything to FTL. One of the best and most iconic little indie gems in recent memory. It came out, wow, September 2012. That's almost a decade ago. And I always just wondered like, why? That game was brilliant. It was an it was incredible. And I've always wondered what would a modern version of that game look like? Well, Trigon, a space story, attempts to answer that question and give us a spiritual successor to FTL. Now, FTL is a space roguelike adventure and Trigon to space story is the same thing. And it's all about managing, here we go, well, I'll show you, the crew of a ship and it's very unique combat mechanics, right? Now I can either choose an Atari cruiser or a human explorer and you can see some of these other ships are locked down here. I wish we could get a little bit more of a preview, like maybe just an outline there, because some of them look pretty dang cool. But those are going to be unlocked uh, depending on maybe we beat a playthrough of Trigon, or maybe we accomplish a special event or something like that. But what's interesting is we've got different crew members and different traits. So our captain here, Eve, well, she's a glutton, but she does have a little shield overload ability, so that's kind of cool. Leia here is agile with a limp. Huh, what does that mean? And then she's also a martial artist. Uh, the plot thickens on Leah. She's a very interesting character here. And then we've got Dimitri. He's got long range combat. He's got a bit of anxiety. Uh, he's a bit scatterbrained, but he's also got martial artistry. So if they board us, we got some loonies here ready to fight him off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the human explorer here and we're gonna jump into space now. We have various weapon systems and other systems on the ship that we're gonna have to be aware of and it's apparent here that there's a bounty on her head and we gotta find our friend Ronnie who's in an asteroid belt. Now this is gonna go over the core mechanics of the game. This is my spaceship and it's got resources, hull integrity, shield, and uh, spaceship management. And then when we're in combat, we'll sit all up right next to an enemy ship. You can move your crew members around to the various rooms because they're gonna have to perform various roles and tasks within those rooms. And so essentially, this is our ship. We've got our three members here. And uh, you know what? We're gonna wanna take a jump and we're gonna access the star map, but we're gonna have to use our supplies. So we've, we're limited on supplies and fuel, which allows us to do our little hyper leaps or hyper jumps. So here we are at the Anzar system. It's gorgeous. There's where our ship is. And it looks like there's something over here in the mech Buddha. It's like if Buddha was a mech, I don't know. But we're gonna have to make our way over here and there's these little lanes that pop up. So it seems like we're gonna have to go to Gina, Fad, Regulus, and then we can make our way over to Mech Buddha. So let's make the first jump now. Hopefully along the way, we're gonna find a station where we can either purchase more hyper fuel or things like that. Oh, we found a casino station. So in roguelikes, you're gonna procedure, like these are procedurally generated worlds. In this case, it's procedurally generated galaxy. So replayability is like high in these kinds of games. Okay, so it looks like let's deliver some chips or we could rob the casino, but I would rather deliver the chips. This is still early on in our playthrough. I don't know if I have the weapons to defeat a casino station. Everybody needs chips. All right, so we've got ourselves a little bit of a mission and look at that, here it is. Okay, so it's actually on our route. So it's time to hop over to Fad, then drop the chips off at Regulus. And we may encounter enemies, and when we do, we will jump straight into combat, and we'll go over that when the time arises. Oh, an unmanned Venator ship. I believe these were the guys that were hunting me, right? Okay, it looks like it's a probe, and fortunately for us, it has no shields to speak of. But it does have a hyperdrive, a gun, and so I think in this case, uh, we need to power up our weapons. Now, unfortunately, they're, they're powered up right now. So let's go ahead and drop the shields down a bit so I can also power up my Thunderbolt rocket launcher. I don't want to use it. And it's not true if you don't use it, you lose it in this case, because we have a, a finite amount of longbow rockets. You can see we have 10 right here. So we're gonna use our Mark II blaster, which is a plasma-based weapon, <laughs> obviously. Let's target their hyperdrive so they cannot escape. Now I can pause time so I can basically play this game at my own pace, which is one of the joys of like these, I'm gonna call Trigon an FTL-like game. Fire the dang blasters, Bobby. All right, it's charging up and fire. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Ooh, ooh, they just hit us with a rocket. Wow, you sons of biscuits. That did not, I did not enjoy that at all. 
Hey, there we go. So our first combat mission was against a relatively weak, basically, probe. You destroy the ship and take everything you can. Okay, so we've got 800 currency. We've got 50 scrap, uh, only 40 supplies of food and 14 fuel. So let's see what we get from this. Okay. Ooh. Oh, snap. I think I just got six longbow rockets. I got uh, some scrap as well as some currency. So that is all well and good. And it looks like our shield got damaged in that encounter. So let's actually repair that. Now we've got, oh, and our oxygen room also got hit. So I think we're actually losing oxygen. Yeah, that would have been bad. If we had not repaired the oxygen, uh, we would have... I wanted to say bleed out. No, we would suffocate. Um, and the shield room needs to be repaired. And these are all the things that we want to do because we want to have our shield charged up before the next battle. Now, our, we did lose some hull strength here. I think we started out at 300. So we're going to send our people back to their original systems. We'll charge up the hyperdrive so we can make our little hyper leap. And you know what? Let's complete this task. Let's drop this stuff off at the casino. Wait, is my shield not up yet? You arrive at the casino station. Hans! Hans, Hans, Hans! How many times do I have to tell you we don't have any weapons of mass destruction? But what I do have is your casino chips. So the pirates are filling the system and robbing these casinos. Hey! Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. Okay, we got a lot of fuel, a decent amount of food. This looks like usually most leaps are about five food, so we got about three. And I think most leaps are about one fuel, so that's good. We'll be able to continue our journey on a little bit longer. Why is my shield not powered? There it is! Fantastic. Okay, so we've got the subsystems over here, the systems, and then the weapons. And then there's even drones, but we are not there yet. Now, you may be asking, hey, how come I can't see in the other rooms that aren't crude? Well, we're in the middle of a nebula, which kind of uh, affects our sensors and communications equipment. All right, let's find out what's going on in McBuddha. Ooh, we've got an enemy ship here and here. So if we do want to get into combat, and that looks awesome, but that's where we started. So we're going to head over to McBuddha here. I really... Oh, it looks like we're in an asteroid field. Okay, which means you are in an asteroid belt. The ship can evade large asteroids. However, it's not always possible to evade the little ones. You know, strange emissions on your radar are coming from the waste module. Let's send over somebody over there. Ah... So, basically, at this mining station, everybody's dead, and the words Trigon, <clears throat> the name of the game, are written all over the walls. Interesting. Whoa! Holy biscuits! I just lost a crew member! Oh my god! Wow! Looks like you'll have to go to a pirate station. There is no other place where you can find a Terticon that can turn another robot on for money. Okay, that is a roguelike. Every now and then you're gonna get your, your butt took and uh, we just did. How do I get over to Kraz? All right, looks like if I wanna jump over to this system to get over to Sheet, holy Sheet, um, I'm gonna have to make my way through here. Dang. Oh, and these guys, are they moving? These guys are moving and following us. That is really cool, but also terrifying for the simple fact that my crew is down to two. Ooh, a local colony of miners. They're poor and abandoned. Hey, do any of one of you idiots want to join my ship? I'm a terrible captain. Okay, so we can fight an old Terticon ship, or we can help them adjust the old systems of planet defense. Do we do we go down fighting? I mean, we probably would go down fighting, right? I'm gonna... I, I would normally take that fight, but down to two crew members? Oh, they rewarded us. Oh, we got a gun system and some credits. Okay, what's that about? Where's my guns at? I need to see what's in the hold. Well, let's make a jump out of Cursa here. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. It looks like I might actually encounter two of them. I'm going to have to fight one, and then the other one might jump in the system right after that or chase me. This is very interesting. This is kind of a new mechanic, an evolution in the genre from where FTL left us all those many, many long years ago. You get a message from the nearest prison planet. They offer you a paid task to transfer a prisoner. Yes. Uh, I could attack the prison planet. That sounds like a bad idea. I welcome you, unidentified ship. I'll totally trust you to transfer this prisoner. That seems a little bit weird, but we'll agree to transfer that then maybe we could say, hey, do you want to go to prison or do you want to crew this ship? So we've got a prison parcel. Fantastic. All right. The Annihilator class ship greets you. Okay. So someone jumped into this fleet here. Whoa. Oh, snap. They got a, they got a, like a, they got three crew members. It looks like a human, some kind of an alien. Maybe that's the Atari elf looking things. And then we got like, I think what the Vradix, oh, were they called Vradix in FTL? Man, I miss FTL. But I'm so glad I'm going to play this. All right. Um, let's drop hyperdrive and let's move Leah from uh, hyperdrive into shields. Oh, man. 
Actually, no, we're gonna need you in weapons bay so that I can actually do this. All right, so they got shields. We'll wait for the missile to charge up. Okay, this ship doesn't seem too difficult. All right, now we'll time this. Are my shields not working? There we go. Okay, so basically both weapon systems are primed. I'm gonna fire, and I love being able to pause these battles. I'm gonna fire and hit the shields, and then I'm gonna hit them with a rocket while their shields are down. So hopefully I take them out. All right, boom, fire the rocket. Hey! Get messed up, son. Now they gotta repair it because it is damaged. So we will follow this up with another blast. Oh man, they got the shields barely up. And if I hit that, I'll actually do damage to the people that are working in that room. All right, how are we doing? We're still at the same hull points that we started this battle. And it looks like air leakage is detected. Check the integrity of the fuselage. Oh, over here, this little red section. Electromagnetic pulse has been detected. That would take both of our shields down. So that would actually kind of put us on. You know what? Let's fire a rocket just to finish them off. Goodbye. Oh, they just, they almost got the shields back up. This should finish them off right here. There we go. Enemy ship destroyed. Our ship did lose shields and it looks like we gather the resources. Um, we got, I don't know what that is. Some of these things, I don't know what those things are, but I know we got scrap, food, and credits. So we're gonna have to repair the ship. See that? Let's go ahead and, uh, Leah, if you'd be so kind as to fix this ship. How do I, uh, if I go in there? All right, we have a problem in oxygen. Okay, check the integrity of the fuselage. I'd love to, I don't know how to repair that room. What if I go in here? Oh, it looks like our people are a little hurt, so let's go ahead and put them in the medic bay to heal them up a little bit. We'll power down weapon systems. All right, I've checked the integrity of the fuselage. I see there's a problem. It may be just part of early access, or I might be totally duffing on what I need to do here. Oh, here we go. I just had to pick the right spot. I'm, I am asphy asphyxiating, though. So let's get out of there and get back in the med bay. Heal ourselves up a little bit. Whoever designed the ship, this right here makes it very difficult. We did fix the ship, so now we can go ahead and uh, put some power into hyperdrives and fly this puppy out of here. Now, I've got this prisoner and honestly, the first thing I would do, and I don't know if it's the best idea. Ooh, we got two things to do over here. Oh, there's the enemy ship. Maybe it hopped over there. Luckily, we don't have to fight two at the same time. Ooh. What is that, a black hole? After the hyperleap, you're examining the stars. Dark, boundless space is quiet. It, we have the feeling that we're being watched. Okay, this is some kind of a fancy ship we're about to fight. This is not good. Oh my god! I do not wish to fight you. All right, this is terrifying. Maybe I should just jump out of here, but you know what? I'm gonna be an idiot and fight him. All right, I'm gonna let weapon systems charge up. Oh, snap! That just took a lot of stuff away from us, man. All right, shields are up and... Oh, God. Did we do okay? Oh! That's bad. Our shields are down. Uh, oxygen is also down. Holy crap. Who is this ship and why are you so strong? Okay. I need to fix O2 systems. And what's this? Sensors are down and the shield generator's down. I need to make a jump. I'm charging it up. Look at this. It's going to take a little bit of time. Let's get shields up. Oh my god, this is terrible. We're down to 83 health. I don't think we're gonna survive this. No, we're not. You lose! The mystery of Trigon hasn't been uncovered yet. Because you put me up against insane difficulty, you jerks. All right, well, uh, let's hop into another one just to see the other ship. That's That was kind of insane, in my opinion. We can try out the Atari Cruiser here, and it looks like we've got a Montu bomb, a mine teleporter, and two plasma turrets. That sounds cool. Now, should we have taken our time and explored the system? Did I go too quick? Or did we literally just have a crazy event fighting, like, the most powerful ship boss. Maybe we took too much time and they caught up with us. Well, we just had an event where we got some food and fuel, so that's awesome. And we're making a beeline for the event. Oh, people are robbing the colony. Army module level three, destroy the Venators with a single shot. Let's do that. Woohoohoo! That was awesome. Oh, that was super easy. I love it. All right, we're going here. Tall father or Aletha Far. Aletha Nar. Whoa. That's probably the coolest looking background I've ever seen. Hey, look. This is awesome. This time our person didn't just die by going to the event, which is really good. All right, so now we got to make our way over here. So I'm actually going to dodge this ship over at Miram. So make another jump. We've got plenty of food and fuel. I mean, that's just the way roguelikes are. Sometimes yeah, you are the sausage. Sometimes you give the sausage, if you know what I mean. All right, I've got to get to there. 
in the Prime Getty system. It looks like this guy hopped from Miram to Alathfar. He's following us. These are those things. Maybe one of those ships is what caught us. Whoa! Look at these planets! A local colony of miners. Now we could fight the, uh, the ship again, but you know, we we've been here before. Yep, that ship is definitely following us, but I don't think he'll be able to get over here. He took the wrong lane. Uh-oh. Whoa, there's a satellite. Yeah, <laughs> I'm literally flying a modern, like, a uh, super futuristic spaceship, and I'm like, that's a cool satellite. Solar storm. Oh, biscuits and gravy. An enemy ship just popped into system. They do have shields. I would really love to upgrade shields even more than what we have. Let's go ahead and power down that. Power up all weapon systems. Make them hot, boys. All right, what do they got for us? Hopefully they don't shoot before us. Ha <laughs> ha, they did. They took our shields down. Their weapon system, what was that? Sensors are down due to the solar flare. We're repairing a fire in the um, hyperdrive room. Oh, their shields are down too. Well, well, well. Looks like you're dead right here. How about a rocket, you idiots? Your shields are down. My sensors are down, but so are yours. I'm gonna blow you up. There we go. Now they are destroyed. That battle went so much better than the other one. We've got to make a jump. You cooked a barbecue out of the enemy. Now it's time to leave the picnic area and not to become a roasted captain. Fantastic. Oh god, oxygen is down. Oxygen is down. Weeew! 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 Alarms, alarms, alarms. Now, our health's going down quite a bit. We gotta get out of there. Get to the med bay. You get over here and you repair it. Can't let our people die. You know what I mean? That's just... That's unacceptable. These stupid solar flares, man. And we will make the jump. Okay, so we're gonna get to this new system. Hopefully there's not a ship waiting for us because uh, I don't think my crew members are even in the right spot, but I don't want to hang around solar flares. Oh my no! god, it's that ship again. Okay, this is great because my shields are totally down. Hey guys, we're gonna die. Sagittarius, you're gonna die. Leo, you're gonna die. Luckily, our missiles were primed. Shields are down. Now, can I target weapons? Holy biscuits. I'm currently trying to repair. Oh my god. I don't have. My guns are dead? Mother. Nuts. I can't do anything. Oh man, this is bad. Repair shields. Repair everything. Fudge. I don't want to die. I want to live. Don't you know that? Oh, here we go. You lose. The mystery trigon hasn't been uncovered yet. I found the mystery. That game is insanely hard. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because whenever you try to hop systems, that seems to be the event that happens. Maybe we just weren't ready for it yet, and we should have explored more. Maybe I dug too deep and found the Balrog. I don't know, but this has been Trigon Space Story, and it reminds me so much of FTL. So if you guys want to see more, pull the trigger and like button and let me know. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.